Hey everybody, DCF here. Welcome back for a new video. So, um, I'm going to be talking about free agency. We're going to talk about the free agents uh, whose contracts are up right now. But uh, really quick before I get into that, there's a little rumor flying around Dallas right now that we might put Byron Jones back at his original corner spot, which is outstanding fucking news. I have, I have my money that Chris Richards has something to do with that. He got in Jerry Jones' ear or something, which is outstanding news because Byron Jones, he's just not the right guy, in my opinion, that you should have as a starting NFL safety. I mean, I said it a few weeks ago, he doesn't really have the mentality, the instincts, the fundamentals. Uh, he doesn't play aggressive. He's not a hard-hitting guy, which is, you know, what you would want out of your safety. He doesn't sacrifice his body to make the play, make tackles. He's just, he doesn't lower his shoulder or anything like that. He for goddamn sure doesn't have the size. I mean, if you compare him to any other safety in the NFL, he looks like a goddamn number two pencil. He was clearly built to be an NFL cornerback, and whoever came up, came up with that little experiment to put him as a safety, he deserves to be crucified by the Dallas Cowboys media. Oh, but what are we going to do for the safety position if we move Byron at corner? I would love to have Durbin James in the first round, or maybe um, uh, pick up Deshaun Elliott if he's there in the second round. First round pick, probably pick up Vita Bea, or uh, Deron Payne, or Christian Kirk, maybe. I would just really prefer to see how Byron Jones would work out if he's in the proper position. Because he's been playing safety for two years, and he only has two picks. One pick that actually really counts. <clears throat> so, uh, we have some free agents that we need to sign on this list. Um, but before we get into that, holy fuck... Cowboys Nation, please, 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 for the love of God, can we please fucking stop this? Oh, we're not gonna bring out Earl Thomas this one, Cowboys never win anything! <laughs> we have uh, important players that we have to resign before we even fucking talk about that, and if Earl Thomas wants to take literally the most insulting contract ever, Bring them on board. But that's not going to fucking happen, okay? It's not. He might go back to Seattle. He might not. If he doesn't, I can guarantee you this, he's not going to come to fucking Dallas. So please, don't piss, bitch, and moan because we don't have the money to bring in Earl Thomas. So, <clears throat> uh, before I even get to the names on this list, Number one priority this season, I don't give a fuck about the draft. I don't give a fuck about free agency, the combine, whatever. Number one priority this offseason is to give Zach Martin his contract extension. He's not a free agent this year. He will be next year, but we really need to have him back on Dallas long term. That's number one fucking priority. So, anyway, let's actually get into the list. Um, number two priority for me would probably be Demarcus Lawrence. Thankfully, they sound very committed into bringing him back in blue and silver. But, it's kind of, this is my thing, right? Rookie season, one sack. Credit, that was a very crucial sack. It won us the wildcard game against the Detroit Lions. Um, second year... Four, four or five sacks. Third year, one fucking sack. And then in his fourth year, the contract year, he gets 14 and a half sacks. I don't know if we should necessarily throw huge fucking loads of money at him for one elite season. And maybe I'm just saying that because I really don't want to have another fucking Des Bryant on this team. But I would just fucking hate to see him go. I would hate to see him leave. Uh, sign with another team. Um, it seems like he's interested in coming back. I, now, I don't know if he wants big money. I don't know if that's what we're going to pay him. I know nothing about it, but do do whatever. Do whatever you need to bring uh, Demarcus Lawrence back. Just pray to fucking God that he doesn't all of a sudden have back issues or whatever uh, at the beginning of next season or something. But, um, anyways, so the next person on this list, Anthony Hitchens, have to fucking re-sign Anthony Hitchens. He's just an excellent tackler. He is 
especially great at tackling, you know, running backs behind the line of scrimmage. Just in general, he's been learning a lot more about this defense by year. And he, he's, in a way, he's kind of like a baby Sean Lee. If that makes any fucking sense. But Anthony Hitchens, with how well he's understanding the defense, I just... I, I don't want to see him go. I really wouldn't. And if he does, then we might have to consider linebacker as a first round issue. Bryce Butler. <laughs> uh, fuck. Bryce Butler, man, he said if he's not starting, then he's not going to resign. I would, I want to see him come back um, because of how much more productive he's been with his targets than Dez Bryant has. But he's not going to come back because Dez Bryant got offended by him maybe, and we all know that Des Bryant has his dick in Jerry Jones's ear, so hate to see you go, Bryce, but we're not going to re-sign him. By the way, how about San Francisco for making Jimmy Garoppolo, a guy who played, what, six, eight games, uh, the biggest contract in the NFL? Oh, uh, Kirk Cousins, um, because that the Redskins basically gave you the middle finger, um, it'd be great if you would go to, like, the Jaguars or the Buccaneers, maybe, because we're going to be playing those teams in Dallas next year, and we just want to whip your fucking ass again for old time's sake. As for Washington, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Ugh, anyways. Uh, so, let's see, re-sign to Marcus Lawrence, re-sign Anthony Hitchens, uh, Bryce Butler is gonna fuck off somewhere else. LP Labrador, the long snapper, I don't even know if that's how you say his name. Uh, he hasn't fucked up, uh, the recent memory, so bring him back on board. Benny Benweaker, B Ben, what the fuck? Cornerback? Um... I really haven't seen much play from him, so I can't really give you an answer on that. Steven P, Paya, whatever the fuck. Uh, you could bring him back for depth reasons. I don't think he'll be, you know, the answer as as far as starting goes, but um, fuck it, bring him back for depth purposes, I guess. Byron Bell, fuck off. Jonathan Cooper, <sighs> shit. Um, probably would be good to have uh, for depth purposes. Um, off of recent memory, I can't recall a moment where he fucked up, um, legendarily, uh, if that's even a word. I mean, I don't think he's gonna be asking for big money either way, so fuck it, bring him back. Alfred Morris, uh, I would definitely like to see him back as well. Uh, I think we have great depth, um, as far as running back goes with Zeke. Alfred Morris, um, and Rod Smith, Rod Smooth. I think we have great depth in that, in that position. I'd like to, you know, keep it that way. Kyle Wilbur. Can't really tell you much about him. Same goes for Joe Looney, and that's it for this list. I thought that David Irving would be on here. Um, all types. Hold on. Ah, yeah, there he is. Uh, David Irving, restricted free agent. Um, I'll be honest, I don't really know what that means. But I would definitely try to bring him back as well. Probably after we re-sign to Marcus Lawrence and Anthony Hitchens, uh, then I would address David Irving. They said they're not going to give him a long-term contract, which I honestly agree with. Everyone can piss a bitch about that. But he hasn't put up a full year of consistency, and we don't really know how he's going to do after that concussion issue with, you know, being against the Washington Redskins and shit. I would love to have him fucking back, but we just kind of have to play with it and see how he does. But, um, yeah, those are our free agents. Um, please move Byron back at corner. Please. Pretty please. Please shut the fuck up about Earl Thomas. It's not going to happen. No matter how many wet dreams you have about him in Dallas, it's not going to happen. Bring back the free agents I just said. I'll see you guys next time, and peace.